Hey folks, why haven't you subscribed yet? Tell them, Lily. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, whichever you are. Um, today we are going to discuss um, the crocodilian family Alligatoridae. This will be an overview of the family, and um, so this is part two of the um, series. Last Sunday's video was about uh, was a general overview of crocodilians itself and the basic biology. So if you've not saw that one, go back and watch that one. Uh, so, again, today's video is going to be covering the, the family Alligatoridae, um, the family that alligators belong to. Uh, there are eight species of uh, in the family named after... Um, alligators um eight living species there are two in the genus alligator that are actually alligators and the rest are caiman of those there's three in the genus uh in the caiman genus uh there are there's one in the uh, melanosuchus genus and two in the paleosuchus genus so uh, all of these with the exception of one live in the western hemisphere in the americans in the americas uh, and we will be going over each one of those uh, we will start out i will have a picture as well as the scientific name of each one each creature as I discussed it, um, the first one is the American alligator. This is the largest of the uh, of the family. Um, it has been estimated two feet uh, to uh, lengths up to uh, twenty feet long. Uh, in the past, we do know that it, the largest one on record is uh, seventeen foot. Um, that I have heard of. Uh, so this is uh, th this is the species that most Americans are familiar with. Uh, this if if an if you is if you are an American and you've seen a wild uh, crocodilian in in America, unless you were outside Southern Florida, you've seen this species, the American alligator. They are hardier than. Um, than the uh, their crocodilian cousins, um, so these are these are large predators, um, and uh, they are extremely common. They were almost extinct. Uh, they were critically endangered at one point, and through America's efforts, um, they are uh, no longer on the endangered species list. As a matter of fact, they are doing extremely well. I cannot say the same thing for, unfortunately, for the uh, the other species of alligator, uh, that is the Chinese alligator. Um, these alligators are critically endangered. They are small. They only get around uh, up to six feet long. Uh, so they they are they are very small. They look like miniatures of the American alligator. Uh, there are a few differences. They, they, they are very similar to the American alligator with the exception of their size. Uh, some have speculated, they, this is where the Chinese mythology of the dragons come from. They believe that uh, people, some people theorize that this is, uh, uh, that this would come from the Chinese alligator. They're small. They're, uh, proportionally, they look long. Uh, and uh, they are basically dragons, uh, but uh, these are critically endangered due to uh, habitat loss and uh, poaching. Now they were hunted for their skin, 
and uh, driven to extinction, almost extinction. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they were the one who was actually placed on the endangered species list, or uh, not endangered. They're, they're on the endangered. They were considered extinct, and then there are people like, wait, there's some here in small populations. Uh, if I if I remember right, uh, but they are cr critically endangered. Now I will be doing a uh, species profile on those. Uh, all the pictures that I'm showing you with the exception of the American alligator and the Chinese alligator, all of those others come from Wikipedia. These two come from, these two pictures are pictures I have taken myself and uh, at various zoos. I would be doing, like I said, I will be doing a species profile. That profile will, uh, I will go to a local zoo which has a pair of Chinese alligators and uh, I will get some footage of those. That is the, uh, Zoo Knoxville or Knoxville Zoo. Uh, they're uh, finishing up this spring a multi million dollar reptile uh, exhibit. So I'm really excited about that. But uh, yeah, the, the Chinese alligators are in, in a lot of trouble still. Uh, as a matter of fact, the wild population is thought to only be around a hundred and something individual animals. Um, so those are the two alligators. There are, like I said, six caiman. I will go over the three in the genus caiman, uh, and then I will go over the other two, which are the other three, which are kind of outliers. Uh, the first caiman I will talk about uh, is the spectacled or common caiman. They are probably one of the widest. They probably have the widest range of uh, caiman species, uh, both in Central and South America. They are, uh, they kind of look more like small crocodiles than actual, uh, and than, uh, than alligators, or being in the alligator family. Uh, but they are, they are in the alligator family. Uh, they, like I said, they are the most widespread. And they are uh, the most common, uh, one of the most common. They, uh, as a matter of fact, they have even been, uh, unfortunately, introduced into Southern Florida. Uh, so if you live in Southern Florida and you see a wild crocodilian, chances are it's still going to be an alligator. Uh, but Southern Florida do have um, not only the American alligator, they also have the American crocodile, which is native in the Everglades, uh, and unfortunately now there are uh, spectacled caiman as well as Nile crocodiles, and uh, Nile crocodiles are uh, either of those. Neither of those are good. Luckily, the colder weather keeps those two isolated to southern Florida, and they do not are not able to travel further north. So, uh, the next of the three in the genus, uh, the caiman genus, will be um, the Jacare caiman. Uh, this one is again widespread. All these, uh, all these three, these three caiman species are doing fairly well uh, as far as uh, crocodilians are concerned. Uh, Crocodilians, luckily, have been the one reptile. Uh, crocodilians have been the one group of reptiles who have the most, who have had the most success, uh, with the exception of a few species, uh, in their uh, bouncing back from the endangered uh, enlist, enlistment. Uh, but the Jacare caiman, uh, again, this is isolated in South America. Uh, and then there is the um, broad snouted caiman. The broad snouted caiman is um, from a little further south than the other two species. And they, uh, so they, they're, they're one of the more, they're, they're one of the southernmost species of crocodilian in the Americas. Uh, 
from there we move on to the uh, largest species of caiman and the second largest species of alligator which is Melanosuchus niger uh, that is the species that i've done the story on the last video was the story uh, that one is massive uh, like the american alligator uh, the black caiman is uh, up to 16 feet long they are the two uh, black caiman and American alligator are the two species that pose a threat to humans. Uh, killing and killing humans for alligators is rare compared to crocodiles, uh, but it does happen. Alligators have been known to hunt and kill and devour people. Uh, same with black caiman. Uh, there's been reports. Uh, these are beautiful animals, black caiman. Uh, and then we come to the two more unique species of uh, caiman. They are the uh, the two dwarf caimans. That is the Cuvier's uh, caiman, Cuvier's dwarf caiman, uh, and the uh, smooth front caiman, both of the Paleosuchus genus. Uh, these two uh, species are not as um, their habitats a little different uh, they have been known to be a little bit more terrestrial than the other uh, crocodilian species uh, though they're not terrestrial crocodiles like in the past in uh, prehistoric times they are more they can be more terrestrial and they stick to uh, they tend to tended to stick to small smaller streams and uh, pools and that kind of thing uh in the in the in the jungle in the amazon jungle uh a rainforest as well as uh, a few other uh habitats but they they they, they like i was saying they are the more terrestrial they fared better than most other crocodilians in the leather trade the reason being is uh most of the leather that is desired from crocodilians is their is the belly skin, the skin from their stomachs and uh, their uh, their underside. Uh, what makes what's protected the two Paleosuchus species and what makes them quite unique in modern crocodilians is that. The osteoderms that crocodilians have on their backs, the uh, bony plates, also called scutes, uh, all crocodilians have those on their backs. The two Paleosuchus species, at least Cuvier's dwarf caiman, and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the smooth running caiman as well, both have uh, osteoderms beneath the skin on their bellies, which made things a little, made it a lot more difficult to skin these creatures and use their leather that uh saved them as far as um uh, saved them from the leather trade unfortunately they uh they are under some habitat pressure uh as most uh most species living in the amazon especially the ones that depend on that particular habitat um some of the caimans are are more adaptable to canals and uh, man-made bodies of water. The spectacle caiman especially uh, can thrive in those situations. Uh, the dwarf caimans are, I find it a little more difficult. Uh, so these are the eight species of uh, from the uh, allig uh, alligator family. Of all the crocodilians in most places, at least in the U.S. and in, in the United States, most most places, you it is uh, you are not allowed to own crocodilians as pets, crocodiles or alligators. Uh, however, most places does not recognize uh, that does not hold true to caimans. Uh, now. 
something like the uh, black caiman, which it, until recently was on the endangered species list, and now is doing really well. Uh, but something that large, generally speaking, people do not want anyway. Uh, there are a few states where you're allowed to own alligators, caimans, and crocodiles. As long as they're uh, taken legally or bred in captivity. Uh, but as far as uh, most states, the crocodilians you can own are caiman. Those caiman tend to be either the spectacled caiman or the two dwarf caimans. Most likely the Coviere's dwarf. Uh, they are the smallest. They're the smallest crocodilian, not really getting over five feet long. However, before you go out and try to buy one, now they are fairly reasonable as far as their price range. At uh, usually three to three hundred and fifty dollars, sometimes a little more. That's reasonable. That's what people pay for dogs. But I do not suggest getting one for anyone. Or I don't suggest anybody getting a caiman. Uh, unless you've had a lot of experience with reptiles. Uh, in particular, hot herps, like uh, venomous snakes or something like that. Or uh, you're, you need to be an expert level herp keeper to be able to... Um, be able to work with these animals because unfortunately they are extremely uh, hard to take care of uh, for one they're, a five foot caiman may not be that big compared to their 20 foot saltwater crocodile cousins but they are uh, a five foot caiman can hurt you it's not going to kill you but most likely but it's going to hurt you it can it'll bite uh, it'll uh, It'll bite you, it can hit you with its tail, its head, and it's going to cause some damage. So, yeah, I do not suggest buying one. Uh, also, especially with the dwarf came in, their, uh, their habitat requirements are uh, pretty strict from what I've researched. Uh, so, yeah. Plus, you're going to have to feed a five-foot crocodile in and keep it, uh, keep it fed. And that's no easy feat, especially if you're on a budget. Uh, so, don't go buying caiman <laughs> for pets. But, uh, anyway, the, those that is the family of alligators. Uh, next week I will be do, covering uh, crocodiles. In particular, uh, well, it'll be the, the family of crocodiles. Uh, Normally, I, I, I'm sorry if my, I'm scattered. Uh, I'm not feeling the best at the moment, but I wanted to make the video. Uh, so, uh, of these three, of these uh, eight species that you now saw pictures of, let me know in the comments which you find the most interesting. Which do you think is the uh, maybe the prettiest? Because I think I find them very pretty. Uh, and uh, just leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you've not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when a video comes out. And uh, you all have a great day.